Even though it's the middle of winter, lots of homeowners are fantasizing about the beginning of spring. Why? Well, because it means they can work in the yard again and for many, plant a garden. For over a quarter century now, the Master Gardener organization has been on the front line, helping extension offices answer the flood of questions that literally pour in when folks get out of the yard again. Master Gardeners are volunteers. They are trained and certified in all things related to home horticulture and they help extension agents disseminate research-based gardening information through a variety of activities that reach both young and old alike. Farm Week traveled recently to DeSoto County to meet a veteran Master Gardener volunteer who is more passionate than ever about serving and educating others. When I came, uh, I, one of the, th the questions that they had on the application was uh, why do you want to be a master gardener? And I said, well, I've been digging in the dirt. I want to, I want to find out what I've been digging for. It was 15 years ago that Betty Pruitt signed up to become a master gardener volunteer in DeSoto County. Her only regret about that today is that she didn't do it sooner. Betty's mentor on this journey is Extension Service County Coordinator Joy Anderson. I would say that Betty's kind of unusual in that um, she's one of my success stories that uh, when she started the program and I told her, you know, there's the educational component, she flat out told me, I'll never speak in front of a group of people. And now you can't shut her up. Master Gardener volunteers like Betty Pruitt are the right hand of county agents when it comes to questions about home gardens. They are highly trained and help county extension offices reach a much broader audience with research proven horticulture information. Well, it allows me to do a whole lot more education in the county. Um, one person, it's really hard. We're in one of the largest counties population wide in the state. Um, I think the last figure the was 100. Growing, yeah, 167,000 people, and I'm one horticulture agent. And so in order for me to, to really make an impact, you have to have that volunteer base that's helping you get out in the community and, and doing horticulture programs so that people know how to take care of their home garden. And that frees me up to be able to do other things, like working with the commercial folks. We get to be able to see other people's gardens and and be able to interact with some other people in the community, which is great. And then when we do our library lecture series and people come, you know, you'll start off on one topic, but then the question period comes and it just goes off on all the different things. So sometimes a 20 minute talk may end up an hour and the people are still asking questions. That makes you feel so good when you do that. It's really great. Across the parking lot from the DeSoto County Extension Office is a garden where Betty Pruitt and other Master Gardener volunteers in the county receive their first hands-on training in horticulture. It's known here as the Learning Garden. Not every county is able to have a teaching resource like this. This garden is also a certified Monarch Butterfly way station. They've uh, planted a lot of butterfly weed. That's what this flower is over there that, uh, that you saw the, uh, the caterpillar on. Uh, up in the uh, up in the butterfly garden area, up in the woods, you're go you'll see some of the little um, the casings that the, that the uh, butterfly is going to emerge from. I was hoping maybe today that y'all would actually see see one emerge, but they're a little sleepy or tired or whatever, so maybe not. As with 4-H, you learn by doing. It's much better when they can get out here and actually do what needs to be done and see it being done than just giving them a piece of paper and saying, you know, read this and do this. Right. So it works a whole lot better. In exchange for 40 hours of training, each Master Gardener volunteer like Betty Pruitt is certified and volunteer to return 40 hours of service to their communities within one year. I know that the first year I was scared to death. How in the world am I going to get 40 hours in? And I got 104 in that year. So, and it sort of climbs up and down, you know, but usually somewhere around 100 hours a year. One of Betty Pruitt's first volunteer projects after being certified was being involved in a plant camp for children. She still looks forward to that event each year. We do a plant camp every year for, we keep it at 30. 
so that uh, we, could, we could corral them because sometimes <laughs> they'll start out sort of shy on a Monday. By Wednesday, it's like herding cats. You gotta, you gotta sort of keep up with them. That's, that's the fun time when you see those kids learning and their eyes are brightening up. This year we had uh, a little boy that got to be a beekeeper. He put his suit on and got to do with the bees and things. I mean, those, yeah, those are, price. yes. That's, that's what makes a master gardener glad she's a master gardener. The volunteers are required to receive continuing education along the way. To remain certified in the program, master gardeners attend 12 hours of training and return 20 hours of volunteer service each year following their first one. For Betty, as you heard earlier, meeting the minimum has never been a problem. The opportunities to serve are many and also varied, and she enjoys every one of them. We have a Master Gardener hotline here that we man during the springtime. We have also, uh, on Saturdays, we go to Farmer's Market down there at uh, Hernando. And uh, we have, it's called Ask the Master Gardener, where we give out pamphlets, but people bring us all sorts of stuff. And sometimes, uh, Joy will say, oh, could you go out to such and such house uh, and, and check on this uh, garden problem that they've got. And so, we'll go do that. And once I've got them trained, if I get a call and I think it's the right kind of call, I'll call them and say, I need you to go and see this person about their problem. And I explain to them what's going on and I make sure that they have the tools that they need to go out and do that home visit, whether it's publications or um, clippers to get samples so that we can send it off if they need to. Agents describe the Master Gardener Volunteer Program as a great way to gain horticulture expertise while meeting other avid gardeners and getting connected to the community. Volunteer Betty Pruitt doesn't see any downside, no matter your background, your age, or your education. Do you know, I don't think there's a person that wouldn't enjoy it once they got in. We've had people that were a little timid about going, coming into us saying, oh, well, I don't know anything about horticulture, so I can't do this. If you like to go out and pull weeds or look at flowers or dig in the dirt, it doesn't matter. We've got doctors, we've got lawyers, we've got school teachers, we've got little old people like me that's never done anything. That once you get into the Master Gardening Program, if you care about horticulture at all, or if you don't even know about horticulture, if you just care about gardening and flowers, I'd say jump in with both feet. You won't regret it. it it'll be the best time of your life. From Hernando, Mississippi, I'm Leighton Spann reporting. And Troy, thanks to you for your help on that story. And there, there are more than 1,000 Master Gardener volunteers in the state like Betty Pruitt right now, and they do an incredible job of increasing Extension's capacity to meet this increasing public demand for horticulture information. Yeah, and would you believe it, 62 counties in Mississippi that have Master Gardener programs, a lot of the volunteer service has provided, uh, been provided the last 25 years, and you can contact your local county Extension office if you're interested in becoming a volunteer like Betty.